Mr. Zunaid Ahmed Palok MP, State Minister, Ministry of Post, Telecommunication and Information Technology, Government of Bangladesh, for your chief remarks. Thank you very much, Jisan Bhai, for your excellent moderation. Thank you, Shorib Bhai, for inviting me. And I can see our respected Sir Farhad Anwar Sir, uh, today's special guest, Member of Parliament, Mr. Abul Kalam Azad, and Shamim Bhai, and other participants. Good morning to you all. First of all, I would like to pay my deep respect to the Father of the Nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and also to the martyrs who dedicated their lives for our liberation war. First of all, um, I'm really happy to be here because so that Farad Anwar sir was actually telling me the cyber security is the most important issue in the world now. It's not local issue, it's not a national issue. It is a global issue. And we cannot ignore the necessity of awareness, technology development, law introduction and international collaboration. In my consideration, there are four important issues we need to address. First one, we need to aware our citizens first. Because without having proper awareness among the students, among the teachers, among the policy makers, decision makers, politicians, journalists, business leaders, if we are not awaring our future generation, then uh, we will be in danger. Second, technological development. Without developing technologies properly and introducing and uh, applying it in a proper infrastructure, we cannot secure our digital public infrastructure. Third, without having proper laws, policies, guidelines, we cannot protect our cyberspace. And fourth, it's very important, international information, knowledge sharing, and collaboration because nowadays any of the citizens or countries or any of our organizations cannot claim that they are secure. Everyone is under threat. It's not about me, it's not about you, it's about the whole world. We need to work together in a collaborative way. So these are the four things in my consideration, very much important and critical. And that is why under ICT division, under the proper guidance of the architect of Digital Bangladesh, Honorable ICT advisor, Mr. Shajib was a joy guiding us since 2016 when our central bank haste happened and we lost huge amount of money, still we have not able to recover the damage. So I think that was the wake up call, but it was very costly call and costly awareness for us to realize that cybersecurity is the most critical issue in our society and economy. And after 2016, we set up Computer Incident Response Team. Then uh, Honorable ICT Advisor Shajib was a joy, guided us to introduce a law. We introduced first Digital Security Act. Then last year, 2023, we introduced, enacted very futuristic, modern, liberal, but timely, very efficient, and necessary law that is Cybersecurity Act. Under the Cybersecurity Act, we have four targets to develop 
our computer incident response team, our national computer incident response team. We have set up digital forensic lab under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. We have established National Cybersecurity Council and Cybersecurity Response Team. Recently, we have declared 35 critical information infrastructures. I hope you all will be agree with me that power, telecom, and finance. These are the three very critical areas where we need to give our concentration. And that is why we have identified 35 critical infrastructures, which are really important to secure. And from the government side, we are taking care of all these critical information infrastructures. But at the same time, we have introduce some information security guidelines which are important for the private sectors to follow. I will not uh, take your much time because um, we are waiting to listen some of the cyber security experts session and presentations that would be very helpful for us. But I would like to give my heartiest thanks to Bangladesh Brand Forum, HY, Ramin Phone, Bikash, and other contributors and participants for your contribution for arranging this program. Very timely uh, initiative you have taken from the ICD division, from Agency to Innovate, a 2 i project. We will be uh, participating to help you. Just one last thing I want to share with you that Honorable ICT Advisor Shadi was a joy told us 10 years back that four frontier technologies are going to disrupt the whole world. Number one was uh, artificial intelligence. If you remember, back in 2016, during our digital world, we invited world's first humanoid robot, Sophia, and also invited the developer of Sophia, and the Honorable Prime Minister interacted with Sophia during the inaugural session. On that time, many of us, we thought that it's only fantasy. But you now you see that GPT and some other AI tools are uh, becoming uh, part of our life. Whenever we go, if we are preparing our speech or preparing a video, it's AI tools. And second one was robotics. Third one, microchip designing. Fourth, cybersecurity. So Honorable ICT advisor Shoji was a joy, shared his observation and uh, anticipation about the future. Back, I'm talking about 10 years back. If you remember White Bai in uh, CBIT conference um, back in 2015, it's about nine, 10 years back. He gave his interview to one of the very popular German media. Uh, I can remember, still I have the YouTube video on my YouTube channel. If you go and uh, watch that interview of Joy Bhai, you could realize that how futuristic and uh, foresightness uh, he has. And uh, he also shared that future is going to be personalized. And now we are observing and experiencing People are not actually willing to go and visit the government offices. They want to access all the services uh, from their fingertips, and they want to access personalized service. Even nowadays, we are realizing mobile applications, even uh, websites, these are going to be very uh, irrelevant for service delivery. Recently, I had a very interesting conversation with uh, one of our very knowledgeable policy advisor of our startup Bangladesh, Mr. Jamil Azhar, he shared with me one of his very interesting idea, uh, ideas, like uh, developing AI-powered 
government brain. Yeah, so we are uh, planning to develop uh, education GPT, investment GPT, law GPT, so health GPT, so that you don't need to visit thousands of websites for hundreds of services. You just go and uh, write down and ask government G GI like uh, about the education. It could be student, it could be teacher, and the government brain, the AI power tool will answer you, guide you, and work as a virtual assistant. So that kind of innovative and futuristic uh, initiatives we want to take in near future. Hopefully within uh, four or six months, we'll be able to develop a pilot government brain. But whatever we are doing, whatever digital public infrastructures or digital smart services we are providing, we need to consider about the cybersecurity. So I would request to the government policymakers, to the academia, and also the private industry leaders to think about security by design. That should be our motto and strategy for all of us. In principle, we need to be agreed that whatever product or services we are designing we, that should be uh, in our mind that cybersecurity in, by design we should consider. So we are also planning to introduce AI literacy program, not only cybersecurity or digital literacy. AI has become a very fundamental technology in all areas like education, finance, power, energy, telecom, anywhere. Wherever you go, find some kind of AI is going to be replaced uh, all the traditional technology. So thank you very much for inviting me and organizing this excellent event. Uh, hopefully this event will continue every year and uh, we would love to participate and contribute from uh, A2I and ICT division. And the next time, I would love to see some other cybersecurity startups are also participating because cybersecurity is going to be a billion dollar opportunity for business, a trillion dollar economy for the whole world economy. So I think next time with government, academia, we need to also engage our young innovators and young startups so that they should consider cybersecurity as their future business potential. Thank you very much. Be innovative and smart. Jai Bangla. Jai Bangla. Thank you. Thank you, Palak Bhai. Aapne jayan na. Palak Bhai, please stay on stage.